Mark, what have you been told about Rangers against Aberdeen games? I've been told a number of things. Some are not as pretty as others, but um, I'm well aware of the uh, the rivalry. I'm well aware of the um, the welcome we'll receive, apparently. But um, you have to again, you have to enjoy the games. We're, we're aware of it. Respect them obviously for the quality of the team and, and what they've done in recent years and and the, the real threat, real threat they pose. But we have to go there, hopefully in good form, and look forward to the encounter. On current form, who's favourites? Oh, it's not about favourites. I'm never going to talk about favourites. I'm going to talk about Rangers. We've trained well again this week. I said to you we were training well. Ross County was the same performance as Tuesday night. Just on Tuesday we were more clinical in front of God. Could have got equally as many on Saturday. And um, delighted with both performance in terms of, of, of a consistency of performance. And now we have to keep taking it from there. And we have to build momentum, which we're doing hopefully. Do you feel that Tuesday night's game was the ideal preparation for Aberdeen and that you say that you were more clinical and there seemed to be... Yeah, we, I think Tuesday to, Saturday to Tuesday rather, there was very little in terms of, of game difference, in terms of possession and ball movement. But as I say, we had a more clinical edge to our game in the final third. And we got the reward on Tuesday. So delighted for the players and for their efforts. But it's nice to start moving the ball better and to see better pitch geography and better rotation and movement, which we did in both occasions. So teams set in, hopefully, and, and we're making some progress. But we're well aware that Saturday, or Sunday rather, will be a very tough test. Aberdeen played last night, so they only have two games preparation before Saturday's game. You'll have had four. Do you, do you feel that will have any bearing, any advantage? It's, it's, again, I'm not going to refer to Derek or his team, and he wouldn't refer to myself or my team. And I'm sure it's about us preparing well. It's uh, you know, a good transition to our morning, travel north, prepare well at the hotel, analyse well uh, and look forward to what we know will be a tough game, but the, the league's filled with tough games. Is Kenny Miller in the squad for Sunday? Absolutely. Is there any, can you tell us anything about... No, this is a, it's a subject, judicial, judicial matter, is that the right word? Um, so there's no comment there, but suffice to say from our point of view, we give the player 100% support, absolute 100% support. He's a very experienced player, but... Have you noticed he's affected by what's going on at all? No, I'm not, as I say, I'm not going to talk about this matter. Kenny's a top-class pro. Um, you've seen from his performances, you've seen how many times I've picked him this season. That won't change in terms of... Um, I've got absolutely no doubts about Kenny Miller on or off the pitch. Simple as that. Mark, can you give us a, a reaction to the League Cup semi-final draw? Yeah, looking forward to it. It's a Hamden semi-final. So um, whoever you draw, it's a semi-final. The Rangers end, I'm sure, will be packed. And we look forward to it. Simple as that, you're fighting for a place in a, in a cup final, so tremendous. It's not a game that you think has come perhaps a bit too early given what happened? I think that's a date the League Cup allocated to, I don't think it'll change the date for me, that's for sure. You're, you're happy your team's ready for this challenge again though? Absolutely, I'm not sure what your point is. Just, you know, the fact is obviously it was a heavy defeat last time, do you think you'll have enough time to be able to bridge that gap? Yeah, I'm not worried about that. You've talked um, this in the last fortnight about the negativity that appears to come from certain elements of the media and there appears from the outside to be a bit of negativity swirling around the club headlines such as today's with Kenny with what's happened with Joey as well do you feel that because you're buying the top flight that that is being accentuated and because and also because of what's happened with the results maybe not being as you would expect I think I think uh, the focus on on the two big clubs is obvious I think matters which would normally be dealt with internally at most other clubs suddenly become front and back page news here. You know, whether it's a disciplinary matter, whatever it may be, you know, normally they're dealt with in all, all forms of institution, football clubs, whatever the building may be, or the industry may be. But with those two clubs, it seems to be um, it seems to be front page news. So yes, in answer to your question, I think it is accentuated. I think it is over highlighted. But it is what it is. As everyone keeps telling me, it's not going to change anytime soon. So we have to recognise it and move on from there. Well, but, that's what a lot said about the hostility you're going to face on Sunday, but are you getting used to that now? It seems every week going in Scotland, you, you face these fans that are gun for you. Think? I've said that to a couple of staff here. I, I, I used to say, you know, who are we playing and what's your relationship like? Now I just don't bother asking because okay. I, I, I know the answer anyway. So no, not at all. But you have to look, you understand it. And um, it's an important game for both clubs. You know, Aberdeen have had a tremendous run of form. And um, in terms of the last few seasons, and we know how the job Derek's done, we know the quality within their squad, and it's a tough place to go and play. But these are the type of games we want to go and test ourselves in. We're happier now that we're starting to, to improve our shape and improve our form, and we're, and we're very much looking forward to this game. You've had so many of these sort of challenges where the fans are going to be against you, they're going to be hyped up. 
do you feel that the players are now used to it? They're adapted to it. Yeah, Does it matter so much to them? I think they're getting there. I think they're definitely getting there. You know, it's interesting when you listen to people like Clint Hill and Nico Cranchar, Matt Jilks, very experienced seasoned pros who have been shocked by the by the media speculation on all matters, by the, the rivalries, by the apparent hatred of certain fans, etc. And they're getting used to it. These are guys who are seasoned and, you know, Premier Leagues and number of international caps. So it does take some getting used to, but I think a number of our players in our squad now recognise it and you're still yourself for it and you prepare and you, and you look forward to it. You have to look forward to it. You have to enjoy going to work every day. If you don't, you're in the wrong profession. Has it surprised you though? Because you came up here last year on a wave of good, good vibes and everything went so well and it's changed so quickly. I think it's different because you're now in the top flight. You know, suddenly I think when you're in the, when you're in the, in the division below, you're away. You know, you, you mentioned on the back page because of the size of the club, but suddenly now we're we're back in the same division. So people look at it, and I, I understand the expectation, I understand the demands, I understand the uh, the newsworthiness of Rangers Football Club. But I hope very much that um, our form and momentum is building, and then we're on the, on the pages for the right reasons. I appreciate also you said earlier that the, the issue surrounding Joey is an internal matter, but does it frustrate you? that he has been in the media no, all week I'm, I'm on not, his own I'm, agenda. I'm not going to comment on Jay Barn at all. As you say, I've said many times it's a private matter and I, I can't make comment on that at all. Okay. Team news, how's your squad looking? Squad, squad, squad. Um, squad, good question. I've got to check now. Just <laughs> too, many, too many injuries and change. No, we're, we're looking good. We're looking good. We had a couple of knocks the other night and um, rested Lee Wallace on Tuesday night just because he had some bumps and bruises. So he's all well and trained very well today. So. We're almost edge I do back in full training and, and looks in good shape. Centre halves all fit, so touch wood. Centre Ross is back. back, he's available. Rob Keenan's available, obviously Danny and, and Clint. We have the three full backs and uh, and our midfield is looking in, in good shape as well. Roster so. and Windass as well. Jordan Ross is the obvious injury at the moment, he won't be available. Right. And Josh, sorry, was it Josh you said there won't be available? No, Jordan. Jordan Ross won't be available. Josh we didn't train this morning just precautionary. Hope very much he'll be fine. Uh, so Jordan's the only one that I know won't be available.